everybody. So welcome to part two of this composite edition, the edge bonding tutorial that I gave. And in this part, we're going to show you how to can take that uh, seated design into InLab model. And InLab model is also an elegant model making app. And that ties in with uh, InLab uh, itself. And when we go through, you can see that it initially proposes just an edge that we have to rectify to uh, mark the edge of the uh, STL that we want to produce the model with. So all I'm gonna do is double click on that yellow edge. Let's do that a bit closer so you can see. Double click on that. And then I'm just gonna rotate around, following a few millimeters away from where we're gonna need to see the edge of that. And then just double click again further along and we'll just do that to tidy up the edge clean up this model and we'll do the same in the lower just double click on the edge whiz that around and this is a lot faster than it used to be by the way in lab model is now a really nice little feature if you have in lab again i'm going to do the same thing politely just double click on the edge of the end of that Whiz that around. Here we go. Double click again. And it's as easy as that. I'm going to click apply. And what it'll do is it'll cut off anything past that line that we don't want to keep. And it should produce a model. Now, I have my settings that are already tied into this. So you can see I have my model height the expansion, the low model height already set there. And you can create stumps if you had preps, which it doesn't, obviously. We can create supports just the same as we do in MediLink and in Exacad.